Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. Now in this video, all we're going to do is go over the installation of the Lunar Lander suborbital hopping script that Dimitri put together. So we're not going to do any flying in this video, but there are some things to know about the installation. It's really straightforward and simple, but uh, even so, let's go ahead and go through it. So let me switch camera views here. So you're going to download the Lunar Lander script and you're just going to you know store it wherever you put it on your system. Uh, one thing to note about the download is that since it does contain scripting files and some DLLs, you may get a warning from your browser that the download is not safe. Um, however, you can, you can safely ignore that warning. The reason you're going to get that warning is because these files haven't been you know digitally signed and uh, certified and that kind of stuff because all of that costs money and there's no way for you know just a small uh, you know developer for a little orbiter script to do anything like that. So, so you can go ahead and download it and store it somewhere in your system. Now, let's just go ahead and look at what's inside the, the zip file. So when you open up the zip file, you're just going to have these five or so directories and a couple of files. So all you need to do to install it is just basically highlight everything and then drag it and drop it into your Orbiter uh, 2016 main installation, which for me is just on my C drive because my C drive is an NVMe, so it's, uh, it's the fastest drive. Now, there are a couple things to know about, about that. So first of all, you'll notice that we have this Lua, Lua LN line DLL and this Lua interpreter DLL. And notice the file dates on these are March 31st um, of this year. Now, Orbiter 2016 comes with these files already, so let me show you that. So if we go into our main Orbiter installation and we look at Lua LN DLL and Lua Interpreter DLL, you can see that these are dated 27 August of 2016. So the point is that when you install this uh, the script, you're going to want to overwrite those files, and it's perfectly fine to do that. It's just that this script requires uh, slightly newer versions of those two of those two DLL files. Also, if you go into modules and you go into plugin, you're going to see Lua console DLL and Lua MFD DLL. And these are also dated March 31st of this year. And likewise, if we go into modules in our main orbiter installation and we go into plugin and we look, we'll, we'll, you'll notice that those files are already there. But again, they're older versions. So when you do this installation, which is just copying files basically, uh, you're going to get a warning that there are existing files in your Orbiter installation, and normally that would raise a red flag and be like, well, hold on, what's going on here? But all that's happening is that this, this script just needs newer versions. All of your old stuff is going to work just fine. Nothing has nothing changed. It's just that these, uh, these Lua interpreters are newer. So let me go ahead and do this installation now. And I'll show you how that works. So all I'm going, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight all of these files and directories, and we need them all, including the scenarios file. And I'm just going to drag them over to my main Orbiter installation and let go. And it's, it's going to warn me about those four files. So you can click Let Me Decide for each one if you want. And what you're going to see is that the files in the Lunar Lander script are just newer versions of the ones that were in that, that are already there in the Orbiter 2016 directory. So I'm just going to say, yeah, I want to install the newer versions, continue, and it's going to copy everything over, and there you go. That's it. That's all there is to it. So the Lunar Lander script is now installed, so let me go ahead and get rid of that. Now there's one other thing I want to mention about, um, about this flight that I think will help a lot, and that is the, the camera position. So when I do the flight, I like to have a, a down camera position, which I think of as just like a camera mounted directly onto the bottom of the Delta glider, kind of like what you have in your car, you know, those backup cameras, just those little, you know, dime sized cameras. So I've got a few of those actually on my Delta glider installed around the, around the Delta glider, but the one that's most useful for this flight is the one that's facing straight down. So how do we set that up? Well, the first thing, um, we need to have is in our in our orbiter uh, in our order launch pad if we go into modules and we find under MFD modes you'll notice there's this uh, generic camera so we're going to want to have that checked to make sure that we have this these these cameras just enabled in general 
but just having that checked isn't good enough because uh, the, the default Delta Glider doesn't have any camera positions, or at least not any that we can use for, for this flight. So then you want to go into your main orbiter installation, wherever that's at, go to your config directory, go down to vessels, and go and open up the Delta Glider CFG file. And I will put a copy of this in, uh, in the description down below so you don't have to try to write any of this down. By default, your orbiter, um, your Delta Glider CFG file, I think, I think this is all it has in it, pretty sure. All this other stuff is stuff that I've added. And I even put a note here, these camera attachment points are not part of the default config. So these are my old ones, so they're just commented out so you can ignore those. The one that's really useful is this one right here. So really all you need, in my opinion, is that you need begin underscore attachment, and then you need this camera position line, and then you need end underscore attachment. But I like having some additional cameras in there, so you know if you want you can have all of these. Again, don't worry about trying to write all this down or anything. I will provide a link in the description where you can where you can download this file all ready to go. Okay, so that's it. So that's going to be um, that's going to have the uh, the suborbital um, lunar lander script installed for you, and that will have the camera position set up as long as you have that generic uh, that generic module enabled. And then to actually launch the script, it's really easy. Obviously, you just open your orbiter launch pad, find the lunar lander script in your scenarios, and then hit launch orbiter, and you're ready to go. Okay, so that's all there is to the installation. So if you do download this and uh, get a chance to play around with it, please post some of your comments down below letting me know what you think. And if you have the ability to record videos, please record your flight and upload it to YouTube. Put a link in the description so that we can see it, so that other people can see it. And in the next couple of videos, I'm going to uh, play around with this uh, actual scenario file and show you guys how it works. So I will see you in the next video.